Welcome in Cool IT Help. This is Test NG Tutorial Part 3. In this session, we are going to run our test case that we have prepared in the tutorial part 2. Also, we will see how to check console reports. After that, we will generate HTML test reports. All this stuff I will explain in this session. Let's get started and let me take you inside the Eclipse. Now we are inside the Eclipse and you can see we have one test class demo test. Also we have test method, test title of the page as you have seen on uh, the tutorial part 2. Now we will see how to run this test case. As I have told you we don't need a main method to run this. Simply first we have to do a clean build. If this is not or not set on build automatically so please take a clean build of this project first and then do the right click on this file go here and run as test ng test you will see this option test ng test please click on it and the execution will start keep watching the console section you will see a lot of things first this will load the chrome driver and this will open the chrome browser as you can see chrome browser is open right now and now this page loading activity is going on and after that the title comparison activity will happen and on the basis of uh, uh, that comparison we will see the failure or success result okay now this uh, test completion done now we will see uh, the reports on the console first as you can see here uh, on console we are getting some information so let's check it out let me scroll above now you guys can see this message passed and you are uh, seeing here this is the method name that means our comparison of the title is successful and this test case is passed that's why we're getting this information suppose you were using more than one method and then one method is passed and one method is failed then you will get the failed just below this information so you will get all the methods information right here and this summary is also uh, representing that f we have executed the test case which is test run one and we got the failure zero skip zero now we're going to uh, the uh, console test ng console at this place you will see the graphical representation of the results you can see this green bar this is showing we have executed test one method one and uh, we are getting information test case is passed and this is uh, showing as a green tick mark that everything went very well and no failure and failed is zero skip is zero at this place also you are able to see this green tick mark which is showing everything is clear and this test case successful now we will see how to generate the HTML test reports. This is process is very easy. To do that, guys, you have to go here at the project, put your cursor and do the right click and click on the refresh. Once you click the refresh, you will see one folder in your project. Just expand this. This is test output and you will see a lot of files here. Now, which file you have to select? So I will explain you only uh, the important one. We will cover all of these stuff in later tutorial sessions. Now you have to click here index.html or you can do the right click or open inside the integrated browser and do the open with and select this web browser. And that HTML file will be loaded right here. So you will get the HTML representation of your test results. You can see all the information that one test is executed. Once you click, this will show you the test executed test numbers. There are a lot more information, but this will be uh, relevant when you will use more than one test method. But in our case, only we have executed one method. So we are getting one method result and which is one is passed. And also we are getting this passed methods. So once you click on it, this will display the method on the right hand side you can see demo dot demo test so we are getting the package name dot test class name 
and uh, in front of that we are getting this green tick sign and uh, this is the method name which is just executed okay test title of the page this method is successful that's why we are getting a success one method is passed so guys uh, this file is being updated time to time whenever you will you will rerun your uh, test class or uh, this test ng case so you can simply go here on the uh, refresh button just click on it and this will display you the further test results so this file will be automatically created and automatically updated time to time simply you have to open once and you have to simply refresh it so you will get all the results summary at this single page you can save this page as a proof or you can attach wherever you want this is very convenient so guys this is the way you can generate the test html report also you can check the console to get the right information about your test cases results i hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help